Hi, I'm Emily and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be making a winter planter using all sorts of natural elements that I have gathered from outside. At this time of year, holiday planters are pretty readily available, but I'm going to show you how you can make your own if you have access to these materials and are feeling like a creative project. This one is not too difficult and it's a lot of fun and pretty satisfying to make. So to get started, I'll show you the materials that I'm using today, but you can definitely make substitutions based on what you have available to you and based on the style that you're going for with your outdoor decor. So these here are birch poles and I purchased these from a local market. They are pretty commonly available at this time of year. I find that three is a really nice number and you'll see when I put them in. Um, next, these are Ilex berries. These I also purchased from a winter market. Um, and again, they're pretty commonly available. To kind of offset and complement them, I have these rose hips and these are from Wild Roses. So I cut these myself. The next thing is dogwood twigs. And these again are really readily available. Um, these are ones that I cut myself and they're nice because they have a beautiful red color. I'm going to be using lots of pine cones in my design and I collected these pine cones and then I've just hot glued them to a dowel. If you don't have access to pine cones, um, a lot of uh, garden centers at this time of year will be selling pine cones that are on sticks like this. And then I just cut these kind of more wild ornamental grasses and these are just going to add another interesting texture and they were something that was available on my sister's property which is where I'm making this right now. Finally, the most important thing is your greenery. So I'm using a mix of cedar, pine and spruce and these are really commonly grown in my area so I was able to cut these but they are also sold super affordably in bundles at this time of year. Okay, so first things first, we are going to prep our pot with soil. Because this is a winter season planter, um, the plants are no longer really getting nutrients from the soil and they're cut plants, not planted plants. So you don't need to buy the finest quality soil for this by any means. A cheap bag will be just fine. Um, so because I am making mine in a porous material, which is this terracotta pot, I'm going to make it in a liner pot. And that's just because when you have soil in direct contact with something like this that's porous, um, the freezing and thawing throughout the season could cause your planter to crack. So if you're working with a porous material for your planter, I definitely recommend making it in either a plastic or metal liner pot just to be safe. So I've filled it with my soil and then I can just pop it into my pot. When you're making a planter, you want it to have a kind of focal element, and that will be the tallest part of your, your planter, and it's what you should place first. So for me, I'm using these birch bowls. They're quite a heavy, large element, so they make a really good focal. If you don't have access to birch bowls, you can use twigs, like these dogwood sticks. I'm going to use them later on to kind of further accentuate the central focal. Um, you've maybe seen planters that use like grapevine orbs before, or if you have a metal obelisk. There's a lot of different options, but basically you want your focal item to be in the center and you want it to be the tallest item that you're going to be using. So I like to place this first because it kind of sets the shape for the rest of the arrangement. So for me, that's these birch poles. So these need to be held up by the soil. So I'm going to put them into the soil as deep as I am able to go. And I'll just do that by kind of twisting them and pushing them in. Once they're in place, I will really compact the soil around them so that they don't move. With the three birch poles in place, I'm now going to use the greenery to fill out around them. I like to use a mix of different greeneries and I like to let it be a little bit wild, putting it at different heights, letting it go kind of not perfectly and symmetrically around the planter. I'm placing the stems directly into the soil and that's going to hold them, but also give them a bit of moisture. Now that the planter is all filled out with the greenery, I can now start to add in the focal items. So like I showed before, the ones that I'm using are all very natural. I have dogwood twigs, ilex berries, some grasses, and pine cones. If you wanted something that was a bit more traditionally Christmas, you could definitely use things like ornaments of all different shapes and sizes at this stage. So this is where you can 
add in a little bit of your style. Um, but with the greens, as you can see, it's just nice and full. And I used approximately one bunch of each kind of greenery. So I would say that that is around the amount of stems that you will need to make a planter of a size comparable to this. When adding your decorative items, I like to make it again so that there's a focal area. And I like to make it so that that focal is not centered. So for me, I'm going to add the focal somewhere around here, off to the side. And I like to start by adding the largest elements first and then kind of radiating out from there with smaller pieces. So for me, the largest things I have are these ornamental grasses. So I'm gonna make a nice little spray of them in the middle. Okay, so as you can see, I have started to add the decoration to this and it's starting to really come together. So now I'm just going to add the finishing touches, which will be some smaller pine cones that I'll put all throughout, as well as using the dogwood twigs to just add a little bit more color and a little bit more um, kind of irregular height throughout. And then I think I'll probably put in a few of the rose hips just to, again, give it a bit more of a wild feel. And with that, it will be complete. So I'll add in those final items and show you what it looks like when it's done. Here we have it, our finished porch planter. With the mix of natural elements, it just has a really nice and natural feel. And all of these materials are either dried or they're things that will dry out and last in our cold weather for quite a few months. So this will look beautiful on our porch until well after Christmas. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And I hope that you are feeling inspired and encouraged to try and make a planter of your own. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I will see you in the next one.